What I am Nietzsche, he's Nietzsche, she is Nietzsche too. I am Nietzsche, we are Nietzsche, and I believe that you are Nietzsche too. Happy holiday greetings, Winter Web. I'm gonna read you a story. Visible book, night before Christmas. If anybody out there makes any knows while I'm reading this thing, I'm gonna come through that inner tube and punch somebody in the face. All right, here we go. Twas the night before Christmas and all through the homestead, not a creature was stirring because they were all dead. Our enemies were hung by the chimney with hooks, a warning to any presumptuous crooks. My weapons were nestled all snug at my side with dozens of smoke bombs, should I need to hide. Then my ma and her shadow and I and my gi looked over our list of assassinates. Turn the invisible page. When a mile away I heard a small creak, and I sprang and I flipped, all ready to sneak. Away to the window I flew like the flash. I kicked open the shutters and sliced up the sash. The night was as dark as the heart of a dragon. No way to tell what might come zigging or zagging. Look at that. It's a visible picture of somebody zigging and zagging, but you can't see it because it's real dark out and invisible. When right before my right eye disappeared, I saw the ashiko-clad hoof of a deadly pain deer. With no depth perception, I turned quick to run, but the kicks just kept coming like some hoof-shooting gun. They found Mama quickly and brutally hit her. Fast, short blows like a meme on a Twitter. They bashed her and lanced her and glanced her with kicks in. Swords and shurikens, each one got their kicks in. With the chop of a punch, her head popped like a ball. Then they slashed away, gashed away, mashed away all. Proof she had existed, then poof, they were gone. Like the fame and the beauty of Jessica Hahn. I jumped to the ceiling and slunk out of the room, hearing no sounds but the thoughts of my doom. Something sliced off my hand as I jumped to the ground. It was the claws of Santa who was staring me down. He was dressed in all black from his toe to his head, but his clothes were all drenched with the bloodiest red. His bundle of swords glistened, ready to whack, smooth and powerful like the songs of Burt Bacharach. His eyes, how they twinkled, that's all I could see. Then he chopped off my nose and handed it to me. I did not see his feet draw an arrow and bow, nor after he shot see where my left knee did go. Then I heard a small somewhere down beneath, and a vibration shot through me and shattered my teeth. He sliced up my face and my round little belly that spilled up my guts like a bowl full of jelly. He was nimble and strong, a right deadly old ninja. When he flipped over me, I knew he would win. The crack of my thigh and the twist of my head gave me to know that I soon would be dead. He spoke not a word, but punched straight through my chest, pulled out my heart like it was Molaram Fest, and laying his finger on the side of my shoulder, poked off my arm, so that even if my wife wasn't already dead, I still could not hold her. He sprang from his sleigh and vanished in the black, or so I thought, but then suddenly I got stabbed in the back. But I heard him whisper, as I slowly lost life, Merry Christmas to to all, and to all a good knife. There you go, that's it. Go home. Go somewhere else. I just threw an invisible book at you. Hey kids, if you like killing pirates as much as I do, then check out the new Ask a Ninja game at the iPhone App Store and get more information here. Hey yeah!